can claim that Pan-Africanism is dead is people that don't want to do the work. It's just that simple because Pan-Africanism is a beautiful energy to connect our people together. The uh, only thing I say to people is don't just call yourself a Pan-Africanist or give the, yourself these titles. Get involved in the work. Yeah? Uh, we've shared examples of the different work that people can do, and you don't have to do exactly what we're doing. What we're doing is what works for us, and we're building what we need to build because we have an enterprise here in America, and we're looking to build another enterprise there on the African continent. All right, so greetings, family. We have our first uh, guest of the night. Uh, greetings, brother. Can you introduce yourself? Hey, what's going on? Or, um, pop up the uh, topic and then um, share what you have to share. Yeah, I, I was just wondering, uh, when it comes to pan-Africanism, All right. how come it seems to be a one-way street? It's what Black Americans can do for the Caribbean and Africa, but it's not what the Caribbean and Africans can do for Black Americans. What's your point? Point is, how come there's no reciprocation? Yeah, that, that's where um, you're wrong. And me personally, for me to stay in America and just stay here and just wait for people on the African continent to do certain things is not the strongest point. Most of the countries, honestly, brother, what you're dealing with, most of the countries, the people that you have, some of them that come over here, they're working on trying to build their careers and things like that. So unfortunately, it's been hard to even get some of the people from Nigeria or Ghana to be a part of some of the things we're doing. And I do understand their situation. Uh, even some of my people from Jamaica, they're here trying to build a foundation for their family, taking care of their family back home. But those people like myself that are strong and see a different vision and see opportunities, uh, that's what we're doing and we're taking advantage of. So I can't uh, speak on um, those situations because that's not really my focus and concern. My focus and concern is building the energy that we need. Well, to see, that's, that's the whole purpose of my question. We're not your concern. So why no, should I didn't we be say, concerned I didn't about say, Africa? Hold on for a second. And don't come on here with your foolishness, brother, because I'll drop you because I don't have time I for know. immature people who are building nothing. The first thing I'm going to ask you is, what are you doing so significant in America for black people? Uh, that's not my part of my question. No, I'm asking you that question because it's important because if you're somebody that's a troll or a hater that sits around and do nothing for black people in America, and the only thing that you have to do is question people like myself who is a business person. So what well, you have the question was not for you specifically is for uh, Caribbeans and Africans in general. Well, people from the Caribbean, uh, especially people like Marcus Garvey, you see his name right there. Marcus Garvey dedicated his life that was to years black ago. America. Dedicated his life to black America to build a future. So that now you have people like myself that have dedicated themselves from to Jamaica Africa. to work with my brothers and sisters in America to create business. To work for business. Africa. To work for so Africa. Why don't you be quiet and let me talk. So the people that we have from America in countries like Ghana, people like myself work with them to help them get set up properly to where we can build a dynamic energy to build business there in Africa and then work with our people in America to do business in America. So what we're doing is building a connection to do business in Africa and America and connecting the piece together to where we can take advantage of opportunities to where we as a people, Africans on the continent, Africans in diaspora, can literally compete with the likes of the Chinese, the Indians, uh, Asian groups, Arab groups, and so many different groups that are taking advantage of opportunities that we should have taken advantage of. But it's what it is. Those groups are more organized. So what we're looking to do is build the best of the energy of our people from here. And we're working with uh, visionaries there in the different countries. So that's what we're building. And that's what but, I'm telling people we're but, building. So what I ask people now is what are they doing to build all these it, things it, that they it, talk it, about in America? Go ahead. Here's the problem is we see what you are doing when it comes to, to the Caribbean and Africa, but we don't see what you're doing when it comes to black Americans or what the Africans are doing because the Africans, they have uh, money and opportunity and they're not doing anything for us. And obviously Caribbeans aren't doing oh. anything for us. I think Caribbeans should be focused on uh, uh, Spanish speaking uh, Caribbeans, like Puerto Ricans, Cubans. Well, and it's, it's good that you feel the, the way that you feel the way, but people like yourself are irrelevant because you're not doing anything in this country for black people, but you question other people. Me personally, what I have here, I've, I've been a part of many organizations, which I'm still a part of. I'm working with different uh, black organizations here in America. Like I said, 
I can't speak of all the people who talk about Pan-Africanism because I can't. The majority of people that speaks about anything, especially those fake ass people that talk about FBAs, fake black Americans, they're not progressive to building anything. Every time I turn around, it's issues with other race and nations of people and things like that. And that's not going to cut it and get anywhere. When I come on here, I'm not here to talk bad about folks from America or folks from anywhere. I'm trying to find the best of our people so we can do something that makes sense. We have a whole lot of land on the African continent. But we see, that's build, the thing. You keep talking about Africa. And things like that. Be quiet, please, brother. You just keep on just talking about this. You just jump in. And you're because like, you, didn't you, answer my, you didn't answer my question. That's why you, you're jumping away from well, me. You know, you, what is your question? The question is, how come you Caribbeans and Africans are not doing anything for us, but you want us to do everything for you guys? Well, well, it's, it's, it's sad how you look at that situation. Black people from the Caribbean come here and they built the economy just like people from other places. So my point to you, brother, let me educate you because you sound like a very ignorant person that that literally, literally just keep on wasting his time trying to- I, I, I thought you didn't want to call names and, and disrespect people. Well, brother, be quiet, please, because you need, to, you need to more so listen and learn because the argument that you're bringing up, it's nonsense and it makes no sense. So your only complaint is that you feel If that it's nonsense, how come you can't answer? Be quiet. The only- your only concern is about what you think that black people from the Caribbean and Africa should do for black people in America. When I'm telling you, they no, are no, that's, not, that's not what I they asked. Are contributing. I, I, I asked, how come you're not doing anything for us, but we have to do things for you guys? You can't, brother, brother, don't put me in any category, brother. You, like I mentioned to you, I what I do all the time is explain to you all the things we do in America and Africa and things like that. You have not. Okay, well, okay explain what well, you do well, in America. Well, well, how about this? I'm telling you what I do in America. I have black organizations. I work with I have an IT, technology, and business that I work with other business enterprises. And you help said them. you did that. You got that in Africa, though. This is where I live at and I work. And my job is- But how's that helping black Americans? That's what I want to know. Well, how not, does that help not, black not yourself. Can you not hear yourself. Me? Can you hear me? The, organize, the business work that I do, I work with black organization, black business. Everything that I do is black business. I support a lot of black business here. And I encourage other people to- to build black business and also encourage people to do black corporate economics. Can you define what a black business is, please? A black business is owned by somebody that look like me and somebody that look like me that care about somebody. And they that could, they could like be from me. any country in the world, right? Well, it doesn't matter where they come from. Uh, I don't, to see, to me, it, it does. The difference to between me, me and you, brother, the difference between me and you is I'm an international business person. I lived in Jamaica. I lived in America. I traveled to Africa. I do business in Africa. So when you're trying to make these conversations, you have to go find go find one of those go find one of these content creators on YouTube to well, have those conversations. See, the thing is, when you say black when I'm business, to you black and I'm business can be all Caribbean. And when I'm talking to you and educating you about what we're doing and things, you come back with the same question. So well, now, no, no, I'm, well, be, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to hear H H C. What what I want you to do is tell me what you're doing to help black people because only well, thing see, I, do, I came here to ask the questions. I didn't come here to answer questions. Listen here, like I mentioned to you, if you're not willing to answer the questions. You're not no authority. You're nobody. You're just somebody. Well, um, I can... ask questions to gain knowledge and clarity. That's what well, I ask brother, questions for. If you ask questions and someone give you the answer and explain things to you, I didn't you hear the back. answer. That's why I'm, that's I why gave I you the answer. I gave you the answer. You, you, you talked in generalities. You said you have a website, a uh, computer thing, and you do business. But that, it's that's, not not, that's not telling me. That, that's not, that's brother, not I work me with, brother, I work with black organizations, including Marcus Garvey organization. But see, okay? you're not saying and black it, American. That's what I want to hear. Well, brother, listen here. I'm going to tell you this and then I'm going to let you go because you're no longer welcome to come and have a conversation with me because you're I know. not willing Sinatic, to learn. Sinatic you're not willing, you're too. not willing to learn. So what I'm, asking me, what, I'm asking you, what I'm asking you, what are you doing here in America for black people? Because you're so concerned about what other people are doing. And I'm telling you, I have a generation of people here. We're working on the things that we need to work on for Pan-Africanism. So what the issue that the issue that I see with you is you're so caught up into this uh, thing, foundational Black America. I'm not, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Or maybe you're, if you're not that one, then you're one of those people that believe in this Dane Calloway uh, Indian stuff. The he's, thing not my, is, brother, he's not my leader. The thing of it is, brother, if you believe in that, that's fine. There's no, there's no issue with you believing in what you believe in. But the thing of it, whatever you believe in, put the work behind it. So people like yourself, what I'm asking you, all of these things that you believe in, what work are you doing to progress the people that you call your people? And what have you established and what organization are you working with? If you can't answer that question, we can't have a dialogue because it becomes well, see, one you, way. See, the, 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 
weakness of a lot of people when you ask them questions is they need to throw questions back at the brother. Um, I'm doing a presentation. If you're listening to my presentation, I covered a whole lot of things. And again, once again, like I'm telling you, I do business in America. I do business in Africa and I'm connecting the best of okay. our people that wants to do business together. So if you have issues with us and what we're doing, that is not our problem. What okay, you I'll, I'll take do, that. I'll take that as do, an answer. What you have to do is what you have to do is educate yourself. Go learn a skill or a trade and work with some black organizations here to build homes, build something for our people. Because what people like yourself do, you come on people YouTube channel and you troll and you hate. I'm not you, trolling all of them. And I'm not hating. I'm, I'm just asking. And then questions. you don't really have a passion to really want to know. I've seen that's you. Why other, I ask, that's I've why seen I ask you on other people's channel. And things and like I, that. And I've, I gave them I've total already, respect. Total I've already respect. warned clowns like you. I've already warned clowns like you because there's a lot of you people out there that you people are not allowed to come on here. And if you're going to come on here, bring something to the table and don't come with your foolish questions. Tell us what okay. you're doing. Right. Tell us what you do in America. And brother, if you cannot tell me what you do in America, okay. tell me what you're working on, then there's no need for us to dialogue. Okay. Okay. Well, 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 listen, listen. The point of a presentation is for you to listen to the presentation and be clear on the presentation. And no matter what you say, I can't change what we're working on and what we're doing. The only issue that I look at is people like yourself are jealous of people like myself and other people you call immigrants that come here and progress. Well, I, and I didn't say any of those things. And then but... people like myself, not only am I from Jamaica, so you but I love, me up I with love America. Nasheed. No, I'm not. No, I'm not mixing you up. All you guys are clowns. All you guys. I, are I'm not clowns. down with Tariq Nasheed. I gotta say well, that. For you the may not be down with Tariq Nasheed, but you're down with whatever clown organization. <laughs> no, you're down no, with, no, that I'm not. Only focus on judging what black people in other places I, I, are doing. I, see, I and didn't. It's not, I didn't it's not a one side. It's not a one sided ask... thing. You have people coming here. The reason why America. Right, before, I, I'll, I'll let you dis. America, 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 America well, has. Me, America has been the recipient. Let me leave you one. America has been recipient of a whole lot of talent from other countries. And I, I got like you. Well, so let me just ask you one up, more question, then I'll close it you, out. Now I'll you leave. have to ask me a question. So it's up to you to work now with this those is, people. Now this is a better question. Those people to where you can build something. So like I said to you, no more further questions from you. What no, just one, you one, this is a key brother, question. What are you this doing in America? Question. And what are you doing for your people and the beliefs that you believe in? It's a simple thing. Okay. Now, when it comes to Caribbean Hispanics, are you guys teaching them that they're African? Caribbean Hispanic, some Caribbean Hispanics are African, some are Spanish, and some are mixed in between. For example, but are, the but are you teaching them and forcing them to be African like you're trying to do us? Brother, who am I forcing to be African? When you keep calling us African people, diaspora, paying Africans, and all that kind of stuff. Brother, you are you are one, you know, you, you live in America, so you know already in America there's different social groups that call themselves different things. What I'm talking about, I'm talking to the people who understand my language. I'm talking to people who understand Pan-Africanism and nation. I'm not talking to people like yourself that have low IQ and low intelligence. One thing that you're not you talking is you're not answering you. the questions. That's, that's, like what you, that's what you're not doing. Like I mentioned like I mentioned to you, it's not up to me to teach people who are not African, African. I'm not pushing nothing on people in America. You're pushing it on us? What, what we do? Brother, I'm not pushing anything on you. You choose to come on here. No, when you, you call choose. us diaspora... You're trying to push it on us. This is the African diaspora. No, no, now, you, no. Now, when you say Black America is uh, an African Black America diaspora. is African diaspora. It's so African we're not. Diaspora. I'm telling. I'm telling you, we're not. So, so, bro, so brother, do you know you, who you Professor might be. James Small is? Do you know Dr. Yeah, Jeffries? Yeah, do you know? Yeah, I do. I do know. Scholars? Yeah, James Small. All of, our, he's, he's, all of our great scholars have explained. James Small is an Uncle Tom. That's what he is. So, so this is where you lose me at. This is where you lose me at. Like I mentioned to you. Who are your credible people that's doing things in America and progressing in America? You tell me now and share with me because I won't, I'm not answering any more of your questions. Well, Especially you didn't even you. answer any question at all. So what do you mean you're not answering anymore? Uh, HC, wherever you are, you are the epitome of a village idiot. And, a, and you're a, a Jamaican Negro, coon. And, and, and you're I'm a Jamaican coon. coon. But yes. what, what 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 are you what are you doing to help? I've shown you what I'm doing. I'm showing you what I'm working. All on. you had to do is answer my simple questions. That's all you had. I've to do. answered your questions. I've you didn't answer questions. anything. You ran around the block and told and started asking me questions. All right, listen here. Um, there's no need for you to have a conversation with me because like I, I know. Said, I know you can't answer any questions. You don't have the answers because you're a fraud. That's what it is. I'm a fraud. Yes, I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. I'm showing you what we're working on. So, what are you showing me? Show How me what you you're working on. You can answer the question that listen I here, asked. Listen, listen here. Stop talking and answer the question. What are you doing? I'm not answering question? questions. I'm asking questions. I'm looking. For
I'm looking for answers. You're not looking for answers. You don't have the answers. That's All right, so family, that is another one of these idiots. And I'm being honest with you. Um, I try to talk with people. But once you come on this panel, if you can't answer any questions and you feel like you're entitled to say whatever you want to say, I don't play those games. That's not what I'm about. So this is why black people in America have not progressed to what they need to progress to, because uh, our people here keep on a small percentage of us. I'm not talking about this, everyone, it, because we have people like that. People like that, you question what people from other countries come and contribute and do. You, you're, you're the problem. Now, I... I'm not responsible if someone gets a position over you and things like that. It's like, I'm not into all this back and forth fighting with black America, black people in Africa, black people in Caribbean, anything. I'm here to connect the best of my people. So this person, uh, THAC, whatever you want to call people like that, anyone come on here, you get exactly five seconds. And once you start the foolishness, I'll block you because you have to be a very low IQ person to come on a panel like this. When we're talking about what we're talking about, to ask irrelevant questions. What, what do I need to tell the Spanish people, the, the Cubans? I need to go to them and tell them. Some of them are African. Some of them have acknowledged that. Some of them have acknowledged what they are, that they're not. It's not up to me whether you're America from the Caribbean to, 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 to push to you to accept Africa. What I present is information for those who are open to connecting with me and we can do certain things. But if you come on here calling, asking a bunch of questions and a bunch of irrelevant questions, I can answer your questions. But when I'm answering your questions, if you keep on flipping it around and then if you don't want to answer any questions, you know, talk about you come on the panel. What we have here is you have to show me what you're about. If you, you know, show me what you're about, you have this foolish movement called FBA. You have this foolish operation with these guys named Dane Calloway and things like that. And you have people like himself who call himself an Indian and other things. I mean, these guys are the sorry. Instead of taking advantage of the opportunity in America and working with the best of your people to build something in America or Africa, they choose to do something else. So that's why um, I don't really be on YouTube like that. When I get on here, anyone come on here with foolishness, you know, we just get rid of them.